Well, we're talking about the MT Parish Walk. With me is Graham from Manx Timing Solutions, and we're just, uh, looking forward to all the tech that you bring us, Graham. And uh, over the years, it's been amazing how this thing's moved right into the 21st century. But you don't rest on your laurels. More new tech, more new ideas this year. I think it's it's important to keep abreast of all new options, all new developments. And we cover over 80 events a year on the island. I myself participate in events off-island. I also go to annual conferences and keep very close um, eye on what's going on in, in, in the time and world. And it does move on every year. Um, and new features are, are becoming available all the time. Uh, this year, with the, the platform I use, we've seen massive improvements in interfacing how we can pull data out of the system, how we can, how we can feed it into uh, external peripherals um, uh, and communicate the information so much more easily. I mean, already, I mean, I think you did last year, you, people could SMS to be told where your person is so they're all ready for you and things like that. That's, things like that is great ideas. The SMSing is a good example, or, although that was an existing feature yeah. with the old system. Um, but you've moved it the, along. The, indeed. The new system uses a system of exporters. So we can send data anywhere, basically. Mm. We can send it to databases or to, say, other hardware um, or to an SMS server. Now, there's been still pictures of everyone, but you've taken it to video this year. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, this was something I mentioned to Ray last year. Because uh, I've been in conversation with a couple of guys at the at the annual conference in the UK, uh, Timers Conference, and they were providing a service which allowed results to be tied into video clips at the finish. And I just mentioned it to Ray in passing, but Ray's always very enthusiastic about new things. Um, and again, he he's embraced this one. Um, we've had a lot of discussions about it. I've got we've got a demo working. We know it'll work. Uh, we're just looking for a suitable partner to provide the video element because uh, I'm a timekeeper, not a not 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 a video specialist. But um, yeah, it's looking very likely now that this will be uh, you know a, another feature for the 2019. And walk. finally, you've got a nice coloured um, display over there. What's that going to do? The display matrix is something I've always wanted. Um, but the display matrices were only typically available on real high-end uh, hardware. Uh, the type of thing they use at Olympic or major track events, um, costing tens of thousands of pounds. But uh, an innovative company in the UK has now worked with UK Race Result to devise a display that will work with our hardware. And as soon as I saw it, I wanted one because it's so flexible. Right. So if you're at the finish, I understand you'll know who's coming up and you'll, they'll get their time flash on the board and all that sort of thing? We can trigger displays on the board based on any timing point. So it can be uh, the finish, it can simply flash up someone's name, rank, number, time, whatever. Um, we can also feed it off remote checkpoints. So we could, for example, be stood at the finish and actually showing time to people going through Mackled or uh -huh. Lonnan. Um, as they get gradually closer, which again is another good thing for spectators who, who are just wanting to know what's going on out on a, an 85 mile course. So all set are you now? Uh, yes, we certainly are. Uh, a lot of work as always, but we did the bulk of the work last year. So really are, we're looking at improving and refining this year.